So now we are um, currently in level two, but what we're going to do in this video is we are going to create a new level and that level is going to be a canvas that has buttons on it and text. So um, we are going to make sure that uh, this new level one scene, level two scene is saved. So we've got level one and level two, and then we're going to say file new scene. And this new scene is going to be untitled, so we're going to go File, Save Scene As. And we are going to call this uh, Level Complete. Okay, so now we've got Level Complete. So Level Complete is a level, and um, it is currently an empty level. And all we're going to do with this level is we're going to add a canvas to it. So we're going to say Create. Um, UI, user interface, and canvas. So now we have a canvas. In scene view, it's very difficult to interpret the canvas and its location, but if you go to game view, um, we're actually staring through the canvas right now. And we can, with canvas selected, say create UI text. And you can see our new text appeared over here. So we can call this text the level complete text. Um, and also because I am a teacher and I love feedback, uh, I'm going to add and some more text. Um, so I'm going to say with canvas selected, I'm going to say create UI text feet and I'm going to rename that one to feedback. Okay. So this is going to be two different text things. Um, and so the first level complete text, I'm going to change here in this text script. I'm going to change that to level complete text. See that touch typing fail? Okay. Level complete text. And then it's level complete text up here. We don't need any tags. Now, the location of it is abysmal. And where I would like to see it is kind of right here, center screen. So I'm going to click here. And this is kind of where I want it. And so I'm going to hold Alt-Shift. And you can see that Shift also set pivot, Alt also set position, and click that. So now it's there. And that's pretty nice, but I would like it to be up a little bit higher because I need room for my feedback and I also need room for my buttons. So Y, I believe, is up and down. If I say minus 10, nope, Y10, Y30, Y40. <laughs> Let's jump to 60, see what happens. Okay, there it is. Y60 is where I want it. And I also want to always change horizontal overflow to overflow and vertical overflow to overflow so that we don't lose the text ever and um, ever and 36 mm, that's going to be too big um, I believe so I'm going to make it 24 I think that's going to be big enough but you can make your own choices and colors and everything else and then for feedback, I'm going to put this text to feedback. This is just for us to see. So we can place it. Oops. And then I'm going to position it in the same place. So I'm going to hold Alt, Shift, and Center. Okay. And now it's actually where I want it, I think. And so that's good. And then I'm going to make it, what did I make the other one? 24? Yeah. And, okay. Font, I'm going to make it italic, maybe, so it's like somebody wrote it. You could also just add in a better font. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to move it up a little bit just to 20, like that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add a button onto our canvas. And this button is going to be a button to open to open another level. So 
ultimately what we could do is we could have we could make buttons for each level so that people can choose which level they want to try. So I'm going to say create UI button. And there it is right down there in the corners. So um, a cool thing about buttons that is not immediately apparent is that they have text. They come with text. And the text is actually where it says button, see? So you can change that text to play level two. Okay? Why do I always click enter? Play level two, and let's just call this play level two also. You need to actually click on the button, and then we can click this, and then we can press alt shift and click this. And that's too high, so now let's say minus 20, and there it is. So we have now a button and um, feedback, uh, two texts, two texts which we're going to control later with some script. So uh, buttons actually need to have script added, and this is quite a crazy thing about buttons. So. Let's go into our project panel and create C Sharp script and we'll call it button script. So this script we're going to write for our button. And here's the default script. Oh, I got distressed for a second there. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I have already pasted the script onto my um, clipboard. So we've got our button script written, but the button script has to actually be applied to the canvas before it'll work. So if we click on canvas um, and we have this button script, we can drag this button script onto the canvas. And now what we're going to do is we are going to, um, uh, we've got to set, we've got to set these button, the button feature so that for this button, um, we need to tell the button what's going to happen on click. So to tell it what's going to happen on click, we click here, we select canvas because it's a script that's attached to the canvas. Um, and then here in the no function, we need to choose button script and it's there because we attached it to the canvas. And then um, we level two button string, that's the else if command that we made. Um, and so we're going to click there. And so now that's going to work. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to build, do our build settings. So um, to do the build settings, we go file, build, settings, not build and run, build settings. And okay, this is, mine looks, you, I have all this here, but if you haven't built yours before, um, whichever scene you have open, which right now that is, uh, this level complete scene, you can just say add open scenes and then you might have to double click on level one and then add open scene, double click level two, add open scenes. But I can see here that I have level one, level two and level complete without typos are here. So I'm just gonna say build and what this does, I'm gonna name it here endless runner build, save, replace. Um, and so what this is going to do is it's going to run this build and basically Unity is going to now understand that within this game there are three levels that are accessible. Um, now we're not completely done, but let's just do a little test and see if things are working. So if we go to level one and we press play. And we run through at our outstanding speed. Now, when we hit the collider, hallelujah. So it worked. Um, but I, I did have a lot of troubles with like putting the script in the wrong place or naming things incorrectly or whatever else. So if you have any troubles, just put them in the comments and hopefully we can help you out so you can get it sorted out. So now we have um, level one, level two. Oh, we forgot to check and see. Let's just check and see if we go into play mode. Let's see what happens if I click play level two. It works. It's purple. There are more oil cans. I have greater potential to get a greater negative score. <laughs> okay, so now um, 
we have uh, uh, level complete text, feedback, play level two, button that works. You could now use the same strategies to make a play level one button and open level one. Just kind of edit the code a little bit. And uh, I'm going to stop there, but in the next video, I am going to show you how to import uh, the score from the previous level and give uh, special feedback based on whatever score the person got.